Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out in Epcot. I'm going to be meeting up with some friends and we're going to have a nice relaxing evening and I figured I'd bring you guys along with me. We have dining reservations at the beer garden because we're celebrating a special occasion and that's like our go-to celebration spot. So we're going to ride some rides, hang out around World Showcase and have a beautiful Epcot kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. It looks like it might be a pretty busy day today here at Epcot. They have all these cars parked up on the grassy knoll right in front of Spaceship Earth. And I've never seen this many cars parked up here before. It reminds me of like your local state fair. Look at this. And if they're parking all these people up here, that means there's a lot of people in the park. I'm guessing that all the cars parked up here are due to the fact that it is a race weekend. It is the Princess Marathon. So congratulations to all the runners, but it still kind of catches me off guard and it kind of is kind of pretty. I don't know why I am so obsessed with this, but look at this. This is literally right in front of Spaceship Earth. Like, I, this is the closest you can pull up and park to a theme park here at Disney, right here. We're going to make our way into the park now, but I really want to ride Frozen Ever After. I feel like that's one of those rides I don't get to ride that often. And I'm also looking forward to all the good food at Beer Garden, maybe having a beer or two and just hanging out with some friends. And there she is, like a grand and miraculous spaceship. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? Sometimes I sit at home and I think, you know, I don't know if I want to go out today, especially right now because the allergy season is really getting the best of me and it has been so rough. My eyes have been watering nonstop and uh, I kind of am happy that I came because it is beautiful out right now. And as soon as I walked in, I'm like, okay, I made the right choice. I see Sean and Kristen over there. Why do you guys look like you dress the same? <laughs> and white shorts and a light black socks and white shoes. You're, I mean, you're pretty identical right now. <laughs> Right now, World Showcase is in between festivals. The Festival of the Arts just ended, and Flower and Garden is going to be starting March 1st, and some of the topiaries are already up, including Mickey and Minnie. Take a look at that. It's like an early preview for this year's festival. And these look amazing, actually. And a little Chip and Dale there. I like it a lot. I'm actually a little shocked right now. I thought it was going to be super busy by all the cars that were parked on the grassy knoll. And this is the emptiest I think I've seen it in a long time. Wide open spaces. So much room for activities. <laughs> Honestly, I am so shocked on how slow it is here right now. I thought it was gonna be way busier. I didn't even look at any of the wait times because like I said, I saw all of those cars and the parking lot was backed up all the way, but it looks empty. Like I haven't seen Epcot like this in such a long time. In fact, it is so slow today that Frozen Ever After has a 45 minute wait time. A 45 minute wait time for Frozen. And you guys know I want to ride this ride, but I think our reservation is actually coming up. So we might have to come back. Hopefully it stays that low. We're definitely going to try to ride Frozen like later on, but if not, I'm sure we're going to be riding some other rides. We have friends waiting for us in the Germany Pavilion for our reservation, so we're going to hop right on over there now. And we have made it to the beer garden. Look at that. Nice little Germany Pavilion. It's so pretty back here, actually. Here is a look at the menu. Beer Garden, like I said, is one of my go-to favorites. It's a buffet and it's got seasonal salads, traditional sausages. It's got the schnitzel, the spatzel, the sauerkraut, the potatoes, and it's $49 for adults and uh, children are $27. And you get to celebrate Oktoberfest all year round. 
last time I was at the beer garden, I was here with my mom and sister, and I remember it was their first time, and they absolutely loved it, and I wanted to get a Stein, and I didn't get it, but today, I decided to pick myself up a little Stein, and it actually comes with the piece of the Berlin Wall on it. Look at that, that's an actual piece of the Berlin Wall that I now own, and I got it here in Epcot. This is seriously such a cool thing to buy in Epcot. There's a piece of the Berlin Wall right on top there, and then when you open it up, it actually gives you a little certificate of authenticity with it, and it only cost a whopping $124.99, and you do get your discount on it, but like to have something like that, that's a really cool thing that you can hold and cherish forever. And just the, uh, the detail is amazing. And here is the restaurant itself. It is so cool in here. There's the stage where the band is gonna play. It's gigantic and it has different seatings. Like this is the first floor, the second, third. And then I even think they have a fourth floor up top there. And they used to be communal sitting where you would sit with like a different family. Like, and uh, I think they uh, took that away. But back in the day, used to be at these long tables with basically strangers. It was kind of cool, it's custom though. Once the music starts, it can get a little bit loud in here. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the buffet now. And then we're going to be eating in between the show. But it's so funny, you don't want to miss it out. So we're going to rush and grab a plate. And I think the next show starts in like 10 minutes. They have tons of different German potato salad, macaroni salad, but bean salad, tomato salad, beet salad, cucumbers, assortment of cheeses. They've got liverwurst. They've got ring bologna. Sausage salad over there, tons of good stuff, and then the, cheer, uh, the cheese and beer soup, which is always a popular item. And then of course they've got the sausages, the roasted potatoes, the roasted chicken, the green beans, the salmon, the meatballs, one meatball, pork schnitzel over here. They've got warm potato salad over here, along with some red cabbage. And it's all good. Oh, there's a spatzel. But I think I'm gonna get some schnitzel. Normally, they always have the same food on the buffet, but they've been switching it up a little bit. And instead of roast beef, they actually have like a pork roast. And that's kind of interesting. I really would love to see Disney actually adding more things and making like specials like at all of their sit-down restaurants. I think that's something they're lacking in. Yes. Cheers. The Christmas future. <laughs> <laughs> You're sick of it. But I couldn't go. I couldn't go. Like I said, it's going to be hard to actually describe the food. So at the end, I'm going to give you guys like a full recap. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to talk over the music. I kind of just want to listen, enjoy, cheers, sing along, do all the fun stuff. But for starters, I ended up getting some potato pancakes. I got some pork with some applesauce, some of the pretzel rolls, which are my favorite. I love these little pretzel things. They're beauties. And then sausage, some schnitzel, some other sausages. Why don't they have the bread pudding pretzel in here? Right? Like that should be on the menu. But I am excited to get some strudel later. Look good. With the vanilla sauce. With we love the vanilla. Extra vanilla sauce. Extra. The show's starting. The show is starting. <laughs> Welcome to the German people. We're glad you're here. Like I mentioned before, we're here celebrating my friend Chris because he got a promotion at work. So we uh, all decided to come on out to the beer garden, have a little fun. It's the perfect restaurant for celebrations, birthdays, anniversaries, bachelor or bachelorette parties. I really do love the vibe in here. Uh-oh, it's time guys. Raise your drink. 
Where's Kristen? You gotta drink both of them then. I'm Rosie. Can you hold three of those in one hand, do you think? Yeah. How many Eight, can you really? I might try that. How many of you put held at once? Four? Uh, on the big ones, four. On the small ones, six. Wait, do you guys mind if I try to hold your three with one hand? Go right ahead. I'm going to try this. You better not spill my beer. I won't spill it. I know I can do this. They try to hold all three beers with one hand. Three beers. Let's see, hold on. Three beers. Can you do four? Can you do three? Hey, you did three. There you go. I could do four, I think. You can do four? <laughs> Thank you. Go on, show Do it, Sean. It's a test of point. <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> Well, I've had pretty much all I can eat when it comes to sausages and potato pancakes, but now I got to get to the desserts. And they always have good desserts here. They got the blueberry crumble cake right here. They've got the Bavarian cheesecake. They've got the black forest cake. But the only thing that matters to me is this apple strudel. And I always like taking the end pieces. So I take it from the back. I take it from the back. <laughs> there you go. That's the way. Scoot it right on in there. And then we get ourselves some extra vanilla sauce. This is the way. Oh yeah, much too good. You guys know I love my apple strudel. Cheers. Much too good. Oh my lord. <laughs> I was too far ahead. Now we are all done with the beer garden and I love it in there. The food is always amazing. My go-to's definitely have to be probably the pretzel rolls. I'm obsessed with those. Then the schnitzel, the sausages are always good. I like how they switched out the roast beef for the roast pork. I think that actually adds really well to it. And uh, yeah, I love it. So good. Now we're gonna head on out, enjoy World Showcase a little bit more, maybe do Frozen and then uh, I don't know, whatever else is in the cards for us. Now we're gonna keep moving along, making our way maybe over to Norway. What do you guys think, a little frozen? A little, uh, little 
a little frozen. Norwegian coffee. Oh yes, some Viking coffee. Viking coffee. That's what we need. The fact that Frozen Ever After is still like under an hour of wait time is blowing my mind. So we're gonna hop in line for it, but I'm carrying around my Stein with me. I wanted to drink out of it inside Beer Garden, but I think you have to like wash it and stuff like that. And I didn't have all that happening right at the moment. So I kind of just want to keep it as a collectible, maybe break it out and drink out of it on a special occasion. But now I own a piece of the Berlin Wall. Honestly, I feel like the Lightning Lane might be longer than the standby. Hi. Wow, this is incredible. Yeah, see, this isn't bad at all. Holy moly. I'm not gonna lie, I miss the Maelstrom a lot. Actually, I was just watching a video about it the other day, and uh, I mean, I like Frozen, but I think I like the Maelstrom a little bit better. Same ride, just different effects. Who's riding with Papa? Who's riding with Papa? Oh, this is our boat. Here we go. Look at the wet marks. Are you on the I'm actually so excited. I haven't rode this in such a long time. Bye. Some soggy bottom boys here. <laughs> I see one right there. Shut. Do you do you feel uncomfortable being a soggy bottom boy? No, I'm pretty confident. You, oh, you feel you feel pretty confident you are. <laughs> I feel pretty confident I'm a soggy bottom boy. Yes, I agree. You know what? I really love Frozen Ever After, and I think I'm at the age in my life where I can say I would be sad if Frozen Ever After actually left. I mean, I miss Maelstrom a lot, but I've kind of grown a little fond of this attraction, Frozen Ever After, and I mean, I, I can like them both. I'm sad that one left, and I think I'd be sad if the other one left too, but I really highly doubt that will ever happen and i'm glad we got to ride it and now we're gonna keep moving along and hang out around world showcase a little bit longer as we keep moving along i wanted to stop in and show you guys some of the new vault collection items look at this i have never seen this hoodie before but i love all of the vintage disney you even got some haunted mansion on there the people mover this is actually really amazing. This is a really cool hoodie. And the vault collection is ending actually. 
Main Street Electrical Parade. I wanted to come in and show you guys the Disney 100, like the uh, Errors collection. I, I think because uh, I think we're coming up on Oswald at the moment, but I've never seen this before, so I wanted to point it out. Also, I wanted to point out that the Vans collection is still 40% off and you can stack discounts on that. So if you're an annual pass holder, you get, I think, like 60% off. They actually have the other Vans hat. I was wearing the regular blue one earlier. I like that hat and I remember I got it for a cheap price because it was the 40% off. And this one's here now. I like this one too. It's $34.99. So it's gonna be like 15, 20 bucks actually. And then they got some shoes and some of the bags. All of this, this whole entire rack is 40% off, plus any other additional discounts that you have. So that is such a good deal. Oh, and then over there's the Oswald stuff. Look at, some of this stuff is really good. I'm excited as we get uh, more into the Disney 100 collection, because they're gonna keep on releasing really cool items. Look, we got some rabbit ears. We got a little button up over here. Another shirt right here. I don't like this shirt that much though. I wonder if it has anything on the back. Oh, okay. I guess that's a little fun. <laughs> that was the back. I thought that was the front. And then they got a little hoodie over here. That's really cool. A little Oswald rabbit in his uh, car there. These are all really nice stuff. I mean, they're really doing a great job with this collection. This looks like a matching pajama set maybe. I really was thinking about getting that other hat that they had in there, the Vans one, but I'm already wearing a different hat now because I have my Oregon hat on. I had the Vans one on earlier, and if I got another hat, then that would really be a hat trick. I'm thinking we're actually going to head on in the Mexico Pavilion and go on a little Grand Fiesta tour. Haven't rode that ride in a while either. I do love the Grand Fiesta tour though. When you first walk in the Mexico like pyramid, the combination of the cold air and the smell from the water is just like God sending and heavenly. I love it so much. I just get such a relaxing, calm feeling as soon as I walk in. I'm so happy they took the plexiglass down. Look at this. Feet and legs inside the bowl. Ah, here we go. My favorite animatronic is this man right here. Look at this, look at this guy. I love it. Best hidden Mickey ever is right up here. I'm gonna show you guys. It's such a cool thing. I know I point it out all the time, but I get excited over the littlest things. It's the details. Enough of the Grand Fiesta tour. It's time to keep moving along, and it looks like the fireworks are gonna start happening soon. But we're actually gonna make our way over to the boardwalk. I was dropped off at the front here, so I'm probably gonna get picked up over there, and uh, it's gonna get a little crowded here. 
Everybody's trying to get in their last minute shows of Harmonious before it goes away forever. I wanted to see a little bit of the show. Just my favorite part, go the distance. I'm going to miss Harmonious a little bit. I'm excited for Epcot Forever to come back. But I am super excited for Happily Ever After to come back. I think I like Harmonious better than Enchantment. So that's why I'm a little bit sad to see this go. But you never know. They might come up with something new, you know. Epcot Forever was actually a pretty decent show. But that go the distance part was definitely my favorite thing of the show. And the cannons at the end. I love walking on the boardwalk at night. We've got some street performers or boardwalk performers. I mean, we got the Abracadab bar here. Maybe we'll uh, hang out a little bit and take in some of the nightlife. We got some enchanting elixirs and curious concoctions happening over here. Maybe a little jelly rolls. I'm open for anything. The night is young, as they say, and there is a bunch of hula hooping happening. A bunch of hula hoop happening. That is a whole bunch of hula hooping. Oh, she looks like a slinky. <laughs> You heard of Slinky Dog, here's Slinky Dog. Ladies and gentlemen, that is 30 hula hoops. Woo! Wow, perfect. The only place in the world you could see someone hula hoop 30 hula hoops at once and turn themselves into a Slinky right here at Walt Disney World. <laughs> Here is good old Jelly Rolls and then the Atlantic Dance Hall. Jelly Rolls, they have like a $20 cover, but Atlantic Dance Hall, cast that's member, free. Cast member night tonight at the Jelly Rolls. Oh, cast member night tonight over here. So cast members get in for free. That's not me though. So we're going here first because it's free. Oh, yeah. It's really, it's really popping off in here tonight. And Atlantic City Dance Look at this. Hall. Really popping off. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that is going to do it for us today. I had a lot of fun hanging out at Epcot, Beer Garden, hanging out with some friends, just relaxing. And now it's time to head home and see little Gracie girl. I can hear her little color any second now. Any second now, yeah. <laughs> What's up, baby girl? You wanna go for a walkie? Come on, let's go for a walk. No privacy at all in this place. <laughs> and with that, we are done here today. What a fun, adventurous day we had, though. I got to enjoy Epcot with some friends. The beer garden was awesome. We celebrated a special occasion. And then we got to just kind of hang out, enjoy, and ride some rides. So I'm so happy I got to bring you guys along. That's probably going to be the last time you see Epcot without a festival because obviously Flower and Garden is coming, like, literally, like, in in two days so I'll probably be there for opening day and uh, can't wait to try all the good food so I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time bye